So today we're going to talk about running our household and how that looks. Because when you're dating, people don't give you, you know, a lot of insight into how that looks in a household as a wife and a husband and as a mom and a dad. Yeah. There's a lot that has to get done. And you gotta figure it out with your person about how that's gonna look in getting done. So we're gonna talk about that today. So this video is sponsored by Halo. As you know, I love the Halo app. So in just a few moments, I'm gonna tell you about the Halo Pray 25 challenge for Advent which I told you about the 5014 Rosary Novena last time. If you were like, ah, that's a little bit too much for me, 25 days of prayer is more manageable for so many of you. And I would love to invite you to join and be a part of it. Anyway, we have differing ways of how we see things looking. And I just want to talk about the logistics of like what we figured out works for us. You go in with a lot of different expectations that, you know, again, we didn't even talk about those things getting into marriage, like what things you're comfortable with or how you want certain things done around the house and what I was used to and how, how I would, you know, like to see things around the house or totally. want to do things around the house. And you just envision this thing and you don't really, because we didn't live together before marriage, we couldn't really express that vision until we were living in the same house. Like, this yeah. is the vision. Because for both people, it's their vision is the normal vision. So you're like, yeah, well, that's natural. You do it this way. And the other person's like, well, not really. This is natural for me. This is a complicated topic because some people, the wife and the husband work full time. Mm -hmm. And some people, the mom like me, stays at home with kids and you know, you work full time. So we can just go about and just list some chores and then you know, who primarily does those and why we made those decisions. First one, cooking, cooking dinners. <sighs> I would say the sigh begins 99% Probably Emily. Well, probably it is Emily. 99%. Daniel makes some great breakfasts in the morning, great especially breakfast. when Zion wakes up. I'm a little burnt out right now, thanks to all of you on Instagram who shared me with me your favorite fall recipes, because after six years, I really try to cook a home-cooked meal every single day. We decided that very early on because Daniel worked his full-time job, and I was at home doing ministry, and I had the time to do that. So yeah. it kind of naturally became a part of what we do, and Daniel can't cook. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe. Uh, besides breakfast, yeah. I could put pizza in the oven. Yeah, okay, but he cannot oven. cook. Um, so I do most of that. Yeah, so exactly. Emily had way more skills in that arena than I did. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> <laughs> so so I'm she does just that. tired. If you've got good recipes, put them down <laughs> below because I'm doing my best. I haven't burned anything. Mm, no, I don't think so. So some meals have been a little bit of a mess, but you always say thanks, and he just eats it. Right? Because I put a lot of effort into it. We interrupt this video and broadcast to tell you about the Halo Apps Pray 25 Challenge. Pray 25 is one of Halo's biggest events of the whole entire year. So this year, the Pray 25 Challenge is all about looking to the journey toward Christmas, the journey toward the birth of Jesus through the eyes of Mary, the mother of God, who is such a special and important part of Advent. So for the first three weeks, the Pray 25 Challenge will meditate on the virtues of faith, hope, and joy, leaning on the scriptures, looking at the scriptures of how we can grow in these areas in our lives as we wait for the celebration of Jesus's birth. And then the last seven days of Advent, they will be reflecting on the O antiphons. I know there's so many different things that you can do for Advent, which is a beautiful thing, but hallow, especially if you live a busy life, if you're a mom, if you're a student, which I know so many of you are in college and life is crazy, or if you're a working person in the world and life is crazy, hallow makes it so easy to pray through Advent. You just press that play button and that reflection for the day helps guide you through Advent. And that's what the Pray 25 Challenge is all about, is guiding you in prayer through the season of Advent to help you grow in your faith and grow to just have more peace in your life. The Hallow app has an amazing Advent section that has original Christmas music. I loved their original Lenten music. Oh my gosh, the version of Were You There in the Hallow app during Lent? So if you haven't tried it yet, I highly encourage you to. And this is a perfect time to do the free trial. So I'm gonna leave my link down below, hallow.com slash Emily. We'll get you a free trial and you can do the Pray 25 Challenge on the free trial and just see what it's all about and see how this app can help you in your prayer life, help enliven your faith and help you bring you closer to the Lord, especially through this Advent season. The last note is that they have new Bible stories. If you haven't heard my Bible story, go in there and you can find that also, but they have two new kids stories. So I can't wait to listen to those with Zion. Go check it out. Back to today's video. 
I think overarching beyond cooking, right? Um, I do the laundry. I also do the laundry. Daniel helps with that, but for the most bulk of it. There were even some things really in laundry even that we were different with, like how we did certain parts of the laundry and how... I throw it all together. So yeah, so Emily's throw, you know... I, I don't even separate in, well, the whites. Yeah, but everything but else just that, goes to one big pile. So my mom, and you know, when I would do laundry at my own house, because as I was one of six, so my parents at a certain age said, okay, everybody has to do their own laundry when you reach this threshold. Together now, we kind of figured out, you know, what works best and how can we optimally, optimally use the great machinery that we have, but also, you know, have the, uh, you know, have it work for everything. We used to probably talk about the maintenance Saturdays thing, right? So basically yes, what we do. maintenance Saturdays. If yeah. you're on Instagram, you know all about this. Every other Saturday, We'll do like a bigger maintenance day, so to speak. So I take care of everything outside of the house, the backyard, the front yard, and then the garage. And Emily takes care of everything inside of the house. So she'll, you know, clean. Clean, clean the full laundry. Yeah. Organizing the boys' clothes, moving out their clothes that are too small and putting them with the right sizes in. It's a lot. And then I just do, you know, the yard work, clean everything, sweep everything, and Zion organize helps everything. And it's so Zion loves it. stinking sweet. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Zion's got his like his little shovel and his little tools and he loves helping Daniel and being a part of the whole thing. That is huge. Maintenance Saturday is huge for us to like reset everything after the week. We really do try to keep a clean house. Yeah. Daniel loves a clean house and I try to honor him in that way by making sure the house is nice. I enjoy a clean house also, but Daniel like thrives in a clean house. Yeah. And we didn't really start this until we had our house here and had the boys and like kind of got more behind. It was really yeah. easy, easier for me to stay on top of things while Daniel was away at the office before we had children and I was running my ministry and I could have kind of build my day how I want. This has been so helpful, but in the beginning I was like, oh my gosh, I just want to relax on Saturday. Like, please, like, can yeah. you just relax and like go to brunch and like do nothing? I've come to see like how important and helpful it is for living an ordered life. Just to, you know, do it all and have it done really well. And then the whole week you reap the benefits from that. Totally. Um, yeah. It so, helps a lot. Yeah. So that's that. Anyway, I think overall, when you look at like the, the scope of like the odds and ends for the inside, right? Taking out the trash, cleaning the kitchen, unloading the dishwasher, things like that. It's like, we've really gotten to a place where it's like, if you're there and you have a moment which is harder for me to come by when i'm managing both of the boys during the day you just do it like to try to do that it helps us a lot like yesterday the diaper pail was like overflowing and i was like well i'm standing right here the diaper pail's going out you know trying to and that's been more difficult for me to get into the mindset of i've worked on that a lot over the last couple of years to just do it while i'm standing there that's yeah exactly lot. you can you know, like explain what our night looks like yeah so pretty much emily will cook the dinner i'll be at, you know having fun with the boys playing with the boys emily will cook the dinner we try to sit at the table and do the dinner as much as we can getting Zion to eat these days yeah is, like, impossible. he always just loves to run around <laughs> he'll come have a bite he'll run around he'll come have a bite so it takes a little a little longer little jet shrieks yeah jet shrieks yeah but he's a great eater now yes, he, he is just an loves amazing eating. eater so that's good and then after that emily will typically either take the boys up for a bath and then I'll start the cleaning process and then um, she'll you know put bring one of the boys down then I'll hang out with Zion if she, because Jet typically goes to bed after that I'll hang out with Zion and play with him more mm -hmm. and then uh, we do Zion's bedtime together where I'll, I'll typically get him ready and you start the first process then I go back down I clean everything up I make sure it's done and then you come downstairs the house and is the completely house clean. Is clean it's a really nice combo for our evening routine yeah to do that together and then you can after that's why I like when you come down I'll have maybe a glass of wine ready for you or something or a tea you know, we did exactly. tea time a lot the first and then you just sit down and relax and the whole night is just you know and there's no dishes in the sink there's everything's cleaned up and it's just you know nice and then you can reset the next day you know and you start off fresh again so I'm on trash can duty so that is uh, that's <laughs> what I, I'm responsible for taking those in putting them back and making sure that they're out there on time and so forth so yes and so throughout the day obviously the kids are you know they're just playing so they throw everything around which is normal and so we'll try to clean up a little bit throughout the day because Emily's with them more throughout the day than I am but obviously you know you'll you'll try to maintain some of it yes. but you know even if you clean up before they go napping they wake up and they make the mess again totally so. like it's a really cleaning as we go kind of thing that i think is really helpful for just maintaining order we yeah. try to clean as we go as much as we can and just share the load of that yeah and then again on saturdays is where we do more of a 
dedicated cleaning time, so to speak. So that's a little bit of how it looks. If you guys have specific questions that you want to ask about what we do or how we figured it out, you can leave those in the comments below. I know some of you are dating, some of you are married, some of you are single, some of you are every you know stage of life, and this not, might not apply to you, but it might apply to you down the road. Yeah, you're looking quite radiant now. You, you look very illuminated. <laughs> Eliminated. Maybe one day we do a nighttime routine. People love routine videos. They love family morning routines, family night routines. If you would like to see that, let us know and maybe we can make that happen for you. So that's all for today. Thanks again to Halo for sponsoring this video to support our ministry. So grateful for it. Go check out Pray25 in the Halo app. That's all for today. We will look for your questions and we will talk to you soon. Bye.